X-Portal 2005, Quick Start Guide In this step, you are going to check your MCI COM port number. Please perform this step, if you are using more than one controllers, or any of your controller is using RS-485 connection. Now check your MCI COM port number, open control panel and select device manager. Expand ports and check, the COM port number. For this setup, MCI is directly connected to the PC, and the COM number is COM1. Please remember your COM number, we will use them after initialized the database later. In this step, you are going to initialize new database. Run your X-Portal 2005 server. This port number is for communication, between server and client. Click OK. Click Initialize Database, to create new database. Make sure you see this message, to indicate database has successfully created. Click OK. Select the correct COM port number, from the port number drop down list. You can select from COM1 up to COM6. Click OK. Wait until a pop-up message appear. Make sure you see this message, to indicate MCI is successfully detected. If you are not using MCI, and see this message, just click OK. If you see this error, that's mean your MCI is not detected. Kindly check back your MCI port number is correct. Ignore this message, and just click OK if you are not using MCI. Now you have successfully, initialized your database. In this step, you are going to log into the X-Portal 2005 server. Go to system tray below and find X-Portal 2005 icon. Right click on the icon and select server. There are two default system user for the system. Please enter user ID and password. Click OK. You have successfully logged into the server. Next step we are going to add new connection. In this step, you are going to add new connection. To add connection, go to server admin and then select connection setup. Click the add button to add new connection. Please fill up the highlighted fields only. This is an example to add connection using local area network. For remote IP address, set the controller IP address. Open web diagnostic to set the controller's IP address. Enter username and password. Under Configuration, 
please select Network. Set the IP address to the available address. Make sure the address is not in use. Open command prompt, and try ping any IP address, to make sure the address is unused. If you see this reply, that means the IP address is unused. Now set that IP address to the text box provided. Type IP config and then press enter, to check server IP address. Double check your IP address before save the setting. Click Save Setting button to confirm and save settings. Now enter the IP address that you have set just now. Click OK to confirm and save settings. Now add one more connection using direct serial port. You may add new connection, or modify the default one. Please fill up the highlighted fields only. Make sure you select the right MCI COM port number. If your MCI jumper is shorted, set the baud rate to 9600, otherwise set to 2400. Keep use IP address field as no. Click OK to confirm and save settings. Now you have successfully, add new connection using LAN and direct serial port. In this step, you are going to add your controller and door. Open your XPortal 2005 server. To open the controller menu, select Server Admin, System Device Setup and Controller. The controller menu will be shown. Click the Add button to add new controller. Please fill up the highlighted fields only. This is the example to add M1000i controller, using LAN connection. Click OK to confirm and save settings. Door menu will automatically shown, if you are using single door controller. Click OK. Please fill up the highlighted fields only. This is the example to add one entry reader for main door. Click the controller button, to select the controller. Select the controller that you have set just now. Click OK to confirm and save settings. The newly added door will be added to the door list. To see the controller and door list, just click on device list tab. You will see list of controller and door that you already added. You have completed this quick start guide. We would love to hear your feedback about this video.
let us know at microengine.net slash support you also may find us on facebook youtube and google plus thanks for watching